Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm KJ. Um, today is a little bit of an interesting video. Um, I'm technically celebrating two years of receiving the Sips by subscription. So I'm hoping to just kind of share you guys, share with you guys my experience with Sips by, um, some of my top rated teas that I've loved from Sips by, um, and to give you guys like a sneak preview of what the box looks like from month to month including just unboxing my February and March boxes from this year. So let's get started. <laughs> um, okay, so before we get too deep, I just want to kind of give you guys just a short summary of Sips Buy. So if you've never seen a Sips Buy unboxing or haven't heard of it just yet, it's a monthly tea subscription. It's like $15 or $16 a month. I think they just increased their prices um, to try four different teas. Um, you take a quiz. And you can pick your preference of flavors, caffeine type, and also if you want your tea loose or bagged. Um, and a lot of times they, they give you a combo of both, depending on what you say. Um, and for the most part, it's been, it's been nice. So the whole point is to try a whole bunch of different teas. I don't like every tea that comes through every time, every month. Um, but that's not the issue for me. Uh, I, I just like being able to try small quantities of tea. Um, and it's really exciting to me when I like a tea because then it's like, yes, I've discovered this new tea company and now I'm going to buy it directly from them and, you know, support them that way. So that's kind of the gist of it. <laughs> um, so as you guys can see on my display background, I just kind of <laughs> posted, uh, some of the, the inserts that they put in each box every month. So they all kind of look the same. Um, on the front, it says the month, and then on the back, it says made for whoever you are. I'm Kiara, and it gives you a summary and a description of each tea. As you may have imagined, I did keep every single one of these inserts from my 25 months of um, getting sips by. Um, so, so I'm able to display them here. I don't know why. I just keep them neatly in this little envelope. Um, but. Hmm. Um, so where should we start? Uh, hmm. So I first came into Sips by, I think I had noticed it and I saw people talking about it, but I, I hadn't really done any research. And then my best friends squad, um, <laughs> gave me a three month subscription for Christmas, like a couple, two and a half years ago. And that's, that's how this all started. Um, and so a few times I've been like, Ooh, should I cancel my Sips by box? And it's not because I don't enjoy it. It's because sometimes I'm very much overwhelmed, especially if there's a few months where I like less of the tea than I, than, you know, no, how do I say this? <laughs> so out of four samples, if two are not my jam, it's so hard to finish them and they all just kind of pile up in the, the overstock box. Um, so then I'm feeling really overwhelmed and I'm like, maybe I should take a break because I don't need any more to show up, but they keep showing up. So <laughs> we'll see. Um, but let me show you guys February and March, and then I'll give you guys my top, um, teas from Sips Buy and even some teas that I bought from, from actual tea companies. So I was going to do this video in February, but me and timing, <laughs> Um, and I'm kind of glad because I didn't necessarily like the prospect of some of the teas from February, but that's like my own personal preference. And again, like Sips by does their best to match your preferences and the whole algorithm thing. But in the end, it's not for you to like every tea, it's for you to try it. So I, I really like that about them. So February teas, real quick, there was four. Chocolate Truffle Black Tea by... The tea can company, this tea can is so cute and if they all come in cans like this, I totally get it. However, as you guys can see, the seal is not broken. I don't want any more chocolate black teas right now. So I just reviewed um, Fava Teas Fudge Brownie, delicious, but I'm not even going back to that tea for a while. Like heavy, rich flavors of black tea, not my jam right now. And so like, it's not Sips By's fault. Um, or the tea can company. So that's just going to sit for however long it takes me to get in the mindset. The next one that I wasn't that excited about is Organic Rooibos Tea by C. 
cedar cedar bows. Um, and it's just four tea bags or tea sachets. I'm a person that likes rooibos. I don't mind if it's kind of strong in a particular blend, but I don't know if I like rooibos plain. So we'll see. <laughs> um, I was very excited about this stash tea, Empress Lady Grey. Um, so it's hmm, blended black teas, orange peel, bergamot oil, orange oil, lemon oil. So that addition of extra specific um, citrus oil might be interesting. And if you guys like don't even know, Earl Grey is my favorite tea of all time. So I'm really excited about this. And then like mildly excited, but not in the mood for it, <laughs> is this Elevate Tea by Joya or Hoya. So it's an herbal chai inspired blend with maca, rhodiola, and chicory root. What the heck is rhodiola or is it radiala? <laughs> I don't know. So again, like it's February. I did a whole chai series in the fall and I'm really, I just, I need a break. <laughs> and a lot of these ingredients I can't really do right now. So it's like Chicory root, dandelion root, maca root, ginger root, nutmeg, cocoa husk, fennel seed, cardamom, cinnamon, rhodiola root, cloves, star anise, black peppercorn, natural vanilla fa flavoring. So I think this is literally going to sit until Chai Day Friday or until fall season because I just can't see me going for it until then. So that's like one of the drawbacks sometimes. Um, if you're a person that maybe doesn't have that much tea um, at a time or, you know, it's like, doesn't matter the season, then this wouldn't be a problem for you, but I just cannot break myself out of the mood. So I already know half those teas I won't touch until August, <laughs> if that, cause it's gonna be hot. Um, so then kind of maybe a bit of a contrast. So let's say I would I was excited about one out of the four of teas from February. Technically, I could see myself drinking and enjoying three out of four, but two of them are not right now. So that's the drawback. For March, a little bit different. And we'll try to go fast, look at the time. So I was really excited to see Aloha Pineapple Chamomile from Tea Drops in the March box. So there's four of them. Tea Drops is a fine company with a great mission. I've done a review and a haul, uh, for them but the thing about buying from them is like if you buy their sample pack it's kind of fun I don't know if it's like the best value so I always hesitate because mentally also it takes me a really long time to finish tea drops that I don't like so I'm glad I got this low pressure sips by sample chamomile is not really my jam but pineapple is so we'll see <laughs> um so that's okay one out of four so far then I'm excited to try let's make it two out of four so this Cream Earl Grey Moonlight from Tea Lyra, there's four tea bags in here. Um, I'm excited because again, Earl Grey is my favorite tea. So already we're doing way better. Um, the next one is Ginger Peach Black by Davidson's Organic Tea Company. It's black tea, ginger, black pepper, natural flavor, and safflower. That's really sad because the peach must, must be looped in under natural flavor, but Okay, um, so my experience with Davidson's tea has been really great so far. So uh, peach is hit or miss for me, but since it's not actually an ingredient, it might be a, a hit. And even though this is a black tea and I'm kind of uh, waning a little bit, the fact that it's ginger and peach means that I can make it iced and means that it might be a little bit lighter. Um, so I'm, I'm looking forward to this too. And there's no licorice root, which I feel like other tea companies might want to throw in there, but no. So that's that seems nice. And then, so I guess that's only three out of four for March because <laughs> look what else I got. So the fourth tea for March is cinnamon rooibos chai in sachets from David's Tea. I have a bag of this. I've been trying to sell for like four months. <laughs> Man. I don't know where it's at. I think it's just packaged up, like, ready to go. But at this point, I'm just like, does nobody like this tea? I don't know. So I'm going to send this off to a friend because they're prepackaged. And I know I like this tea, but I don't want it. Um, I don't know. I had 
I had my time with cinnamon rubbish chai early in my David's Tea Discovery days, and it's just not a tea that I want to keep on hand. And the reason I had it in a two ounce bag is because it came in one of those um, five tea discovery kits from David's Tea. They're like $29. Um, so I got three that I wanted and two that were like, eh. So trade-offs. All right, so we're 10 minutes in. Let's get to some teas that I really enjoyed over the years. So this is my tea journal. <laughs> And this page says teas I like from sip by. <laughs> this other one is from May sip down years ago. But so the first one on here is my cacao. So I also was leaving reviews at some point. I'm going to spare you guys that. But I also have like a one through five system that I rate them with. Um, I don't know how often I keep up like the little carrot there is where the rating falls. So my cacao, I ended up buying that tea. Um, from Sips By during a Sips By haul that I might, might post up there. Um, I really liked this tea called uh, Relax Lights Out by Truly Teas. That was maybe almost a year and a half ago. Um, I like that tea because the chamomile is not overwhelming. I wrote that note to myself. Um, and that was probably like my favorite sleepy time tea I've ever had. But again, I don't really like sleepy time tea. So I haven't really made the effort to go and buy that one. Um, the Jasmine Pearl Tea Co's French Breakfast was delicious. White Tea Company's Blueberry Basil, delicious. Fava Tea Company's Sunny Sangria, delicious. <laughs> Savoy Tea Company Homemade Apple Cider, really great. In fact, I did a Savoy um, haul that I'll put up there. Um, Nepali Breakfast Tea by Nepal Tea, really good. Bourbon Chestnut Herbal Tea by the Spice and Tea Exchange, which is just like a rooibos tea. Pretty, actually that was like a three and a half, but still, I think that's pretty good. Um, Amber Dawn by Estete, Estete Tea. <laughs> Night in the Glittering Caves by Southside Blossom. Sorry, that is not it. Night in the Glittering Cave. <laughs> Night in the Glittering Caves and... Southside Blossom by Happy Turtle Tea Company and Golden Yen and Black by Bear Leaves. So that's just like so far. I've also really enjoyed um, Stash Double Bergamot. I think that came in my Sips by Box and shortly after I bought that too. <laughs> so uh, yeah. Again, mm, okay. So during the Sips by haul that I have already posted, hopefully. Um, I picked up this tea from Charities um, by Orange. Jeez, what is my deal? I'm losing it, guys. So, <laughs> the tea is Charities, and it's called Orange Grapefruit Wellness. <laughs> it's an herbal tea. It's got apple pieces, carrot flakes, blackberry, eucalyptus leaves, beetroot pieces, hibiscus flowers, lemongrass, flavor, tangerine, and orange slices. So when I had this in a small quantity, it was really great. And I put it on my list to buy. And finally, when this opportunity came up, I was like, yeah. Um, so really, I think the best deal I've seen across multiple tea companies was that Sips by sale. So I don't know if it was like holiday time or what, but they had 50% off all of their full price teas. Um, what sucked about that specific event was that you still had to pay for shipping no matter how much you bought. Um, and I think maybe it was like $10 at least, but it was really great to get large size quantities of teas from different tea companies that I, I knew that I liked. Um, so that was like, it's probably my favorite tea sale to date. I don't think they've done it since then. And I don't know how beneficial it was to them, but it was certainly beneficial to me. Um, okay. So I brought that up because I'm drinking it right now. Um, so now that I have a bigger quantity, I've decided maybe I actually don't like this tea that much. And I don't not like it, um, but I don't think I'll rebuy it. It's such a small quantity, and it, it wasn't cheap, per se. It was a good deal with the 50% off, but it wasn't cheap. Whew. So the lemongrass in this one is pretty prevalent, but everything else, like the carrot, the beetroots, and even the apple give it like a dull sweetness. So I added some lemonade to kind of bring me back to the grapefruit 
And it's so weird because Orange Grapefruit Wellness is the title, but grapefruit is not even in here. It's not in here in slices. So it must be the flavor part of the ingredients. So, hmm. Hmm. Take it or leave it. Um, okay, so anything else that I'm missing? So, is Sips Buy worth it? Yes, if you have $15 a month to spend on tea that just kind of automatically gets taken from your card and sent to your house, sure. If you are not easily overwhelmed, yes. And even if you are, if you have a good system for just saying like, okay, I'm not going to drink these and it's not going to bother me right now, then yes, it still works. Um, I also just recently started the Harney and Sons <laughs> monthly tea subscription. And I think that one's probably going to go away for a little while because they send full size teas every month and I just there's no way there's no way and like at this point I have like a small Harney and Sons setup like I've never had this many Harney and Sons teas and it's it's kind of rivaling my David's tea teas and that's a lot of teas so uh, if you guys can sense my anxiety yeah here we go um okay so most of the time if you share um, you can get $5 off your first box, depending on who you talk to. I never, I never really do that. I don't. <laughs> but if you're interested, I do hope you try it. Um, if you guys have any questions or comments, leave those in the, the comment section. <laughs> I think I'm tired. I need a nap. <laughs> My other thing is, um, if you have sips by obviously like let other people know what your experience is like in the comments um and if you would recommend or any pros or cons that stick out to you you know um I think that would be really helpful for people to see um or if you prefer a different um monthly subscription for tea also let us know in the comments too because again this video is mostly just to like share my experience and if you were kind of on the fence about it or if you had it for a short period of time and were thinking should I come back? I don't know. I don't know. So, um, take what you take, leave what you leave. Uh, yeah. So I'm going to stop rambling. <laughs> I hope you guys have a great, whatever it is you're having, and I'll see you next time.